everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Cassie and I do make videos every single week. I'm so sorry I went missing for a little while but there's a lot of things happening at the moment and I just kind of decided to go ahead and take a break. I wasn't feeling so well for a while so I'm back and rolling out the videos. I tend to lean for these more soft romantic looks, especially when I'm going on date night, focusing more on skin, on making my skin look more glowing and just a little bit, a little bit of a touch on the eyes and sometimes going a little bold on the lips just because I think it just makes you look so young, youthful, glowing and just happy as opposed to throwing a ton of makeup on um, if you're going on a date, of course and then kind of washing away your own beauty. So I'm all about enhancing your own beauty. I'm a makeup artist, I do a little bit of everything, but personally for me, if I was going on a date night, this is the type of look I would create. So I wanted to be as realistic with you guys. I used affordable products, new eyeshadow palettes, and then also a couple of high-end items. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look, and we're just gonna go ahead and get ready together. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any more videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media to stay updated with my life. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and if you would like to see how to get this makeup look, oh, and also my hair, then just keep on watching. So usually I like to take care of my skin care and kind of focus more on skin when it's date night. I'm using these deep puffing eye pads that I got from Gerard Cosmetics. And I left them on for about 10 or 15 minutes and just took some selfies and I was on my phone for a little while. Then I'll go ahead and take them off. Then I'll be going in with my spa from the Dead Sea Minerals Moisturizer and this has been helping with my dry skin so much and also my acne. So I'm just moisturizing my skin. Then I'll be moving on to the eyes and using my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. I'm going to use this to prime my eyelids. This is going to even out the discoloration on my lids and also help the eyeshadows last longer. And for the eyes, I'll be using this new eyeshadow palette from MAC, which I did customize. I will have the shade names down below because I don't know them off the top of my head. But I'll be taking this light brown, almost with a pink undertone, eyeshadow with this fluffy blending brush from Morphe. And I'll be applying this into my crease and working it in windshield wiping motions. This is going to help have a nice base on our lids and make sure all the eyeshadows blend out smoothly. I am not doing too much on the eyes, so honestly I feel like this shadow is going to stand out a lot, but it's all about the blending and just making sure everything is smooth. Since I'm really into pink tones right now, I decided to go jump into my Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics, take this mauve shade, mix it in with this light brown, and apply it to the outer corners of my crease, just for a little bit more depth. Didn't want to put too much since I still want to keep it very soft on the eyes, but still give it some dimension. Taking both of the browns at the bottom of the palette, I'm going to be mixing those and applying them as close to my lash line as possible, kind of smoking it out in an eyeliner technique just to make my eyes appear a little bit more lifted. Then I'll be taking this rosy shimmery shade in the MAC palette and applying this all over my eyelids. This honestly looks so much better in person because it looks so sparkly and if you apply it with an adhesive, I think it would look better. Then I'll move on to mascara on my eyelashes and while that dries up I'm going to move on to primer this is a new primer that I am trying out and it is the NYX Hydra Touch honestly I loved it I can tell the difference it does make my skin look more luminous and it makes my makeup last all day but before we move on to foundation I'll be taking this cream highlighter from wet and wild and applying this to the tops of my cheeks just to give me a nice natural glow that'll peek through my foundation And 
And for the foundation, I'll be using the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. I'm kind of looking for a new foundation. I'm kind of over this one, even though I really like it. I feel like I need something new now. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know down below. And I will be working this in with a brush. For all the brush details, as always, they will be down below with some links. This one is from BH Cosmetics. Most of my brushes are from there because honestly, they're just hands down the best. And for concealer, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. To set my concealer, I am using my Fit Me powder from Maybelline and I am all out. So I, didn't, I do need to go buy some more. Honestly, it's the best. I tried going back to my RCMA Translucent Powder and it's just not the same. To contour, I'll be using this Measurable Difference Concealer Palette, but I will be taking the dark shade and applying it to the contours of my face, so underneath my cheekbones, sides of my forehead, and also on my jawline just to give my face some dimension, kind of bring it back to life. And I'll be blending it out with my foundation brush. As you guys can see, I use my foundation brush for a lot of things. It's such a multitask brush, and I just love how natural it just leaves everything. Then taking my Vitality Face Disc from It Cosmetics, I will be using this to bronze my face and also set the contours. I don't do any precise contouring, honestly. I just like to bring some dimension and warmth to the face. Now to contour the sides of my nose, I love using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It just looks the best and I do use it with my It Cosmetics brush. I forgot to show you guys the blush that I am using, but it is the Tarte Party Blush. It is such a gorgeous pinky shade and I use it every single day. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. And for me, for me brows. <laughs> for my eyebrows, I will be using the Winky Lux Eyebrow Pencil and I am almost all out of this one. And it's just, I love this pencil. And to set them in place, I do like to use my Sigma Mascara. And for my eyelashes, I will be applying some falsies. And these are the Eyelure Definition 126 eyelashes, which just looks so stunning with this look. Brings some drama to the eyes. And then taking the soft brown shade from the MAC palette, I'll be placing this on the bottom of my eyes just to kind of complete the eye look. And also coat my bottom lashes with some mascara. Now I will be taking both of these highlight shades and popping them on the tops of my cheekbones. And honestly, this highlighter is just the best. I always go back to it. No, oh, got a highlight everywhere. <laughs> And for my lips, I'm using my Italia Lip Liner in the shade of Mauve. This is one of my favorite lip pencils to use with almost every single shade. Then using my Kat Von D. It's a pinky shade. It's such a gorgeous color. I will have it down below, by the way. I'll be applying this all over my lips and going on top with my Anastasia Bronze Lip Gloss. I can't live without lip gloss. I'll then be moving on to this crazy hair and I will be showing you guys just how I like to wave out my hair. So I do like to brush out my hair. Recently it's been really tangled since I did dye it and I actually need to re-dye it all over again but I'm going to take some time to do that because I really want my hair to restore all the healthiness again and I need to get a trim all that information but anyway I am using this one inch barrel and I'm just wrapping my hair around it. Honestly, that's all I do. I leave it on for about five seconds, maybe even a little bit less, just depending how hot the barrel is. And it's super easy to achieve big wavy hair. Honestly, one of my favorite go-to hair look.
For her, for her spray, one of my favorite brands to use is this Tresemme because it does not leave my hair feeling hard. It just smooths out my curls so nicely and keeps them locked in place for a couple of days. And to give my hair some shine, I do love to use this Chi Shine Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click on the subscribe button before you guys head out so you guys don't miss out on any more upcoming videos and i don't know if there's anything else you guys would like to see i do want to incorporate a little bit more lifestyle in my videos my dog just yawned i do want to incorporate a little bit more lifestyle of things that i love and things like that into my channel maybe more hair tutorials because that's something that i've gotten highly requested um but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. The hair was just super simple and relaxed. It's typically what I like to do every single day if I don't have my hair pinned straight. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!